You know, although we live in a world that's full of trials and unexpected tragedy, the human spirit has proven to be pretty resilient. A lot of us are used to pushing through the mental stumbling blocks of trauma, but are you aware that traumatic experiences and long-term stress can impact your health? It's true. Potentially traumatic childhood experiences and stressful events in adulthood can alter our physiology and make us more susceptible to dysfunction, no matter how resilient you are. Before we explore this topic, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more information on how to improve your metabolic health. Hey, I'm Fantasia, and I've gotta admit that I have some days where life just hits harder than others. Oftentimes, we don't even realize that we might be carrying emotional weight from struggles we faced in the past. That emotional stress can have physiological consequences that stretch forward all the way from childhood, affecting every facet of our bodies, including our metabolism. When a person goes through a potentially traumatic event before the age of 18, it's known as an adverse childhood experience. These situations can look different depending on the case and typically involve violence, neglect, and all forms of abuse. A study of 144,000 people showed that nearly 61% of respondents went through at least one adverse childhood event, which indicates that these situations, while unfortunate, can be pretty common and can have lasting impacts. Childhood is a crucial stage in a person's life and is the foundation for the many developmental processes that lead into adulthood. Because of this, adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs, can really alter the course of an individual's biological progress and health. Research indicates ACEs can place kids on a fast track for chronic conditions, poor metabolic health, and a future of harmful lifestyle habits. As unfortunate as that is, it doesn't come as a surprise given what studies say about the relationship between stress and metabolic health. The hardships we endure as children flood the brain with the stress hormone cortisol and engage inflammatory cytokines. This can impact your brain's ability to carry out stress regulation. Of course, it's not just past issues that cause these sorts of toxic stress responses. Even those without notable problems from childhood can experience health issues stemming from chronic stress. If you're processing adverse childhood experiences or dealing with chronic stress, there is hope for more positive metabolic outcomes. Important insights can come from working with a therapist to explore traumatic factors that might be impacting your life. You can also use cognitive behavioral interventions to retrain the negative stress responses that your body has learned. Research shows that people with depressive symptoms can benefit from mindfulness behaviors and those that do are less likely to develop metabolic syndrome. The slow breathing practices that are often used in yoga and meditation can help decrease fight or flight activity while activating the calming components of your nervous system. Conversations around trauma can be sensitive and aren't easy to unpack. In the same way, this topic may not be easy to unpack. So be sure to read the full link blog post that's linked in the description below. Physical, mental, and emotional health are intrinsically connected. A decline in one sector can often signal suffering in other areas of our well being. So be sure to consult medical and mental health professionals if necessary. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.